and welcome to Disney Movie Previews. Tonight, Disney's spectacular new movie, A Christmas Carol, is coming home to London for its world premiere. And it's going to be the biggest ever 3D screening. Haunt me no longer! Jim Carrey and the stars of the movie will be switching on those dazzling Christmas lights as London comes together for a record-breaking Christmas Carol sing-along. Set in Victorian London, Charles Dickens' classic tale has turned Christmas into the magical season of goodwill as we know it today. Merry Christmas! And this year, Disney are turning back the clock with events all across London bringing to life the spirit of Christmas. Humbug. Are you guys ready for Christmas? Yeah! yeah! Well, one man isn't, but it only takes one night to change his life forever. It will be haunted by three spirits. I'd rather not. And to kickstart Christmas, thousands of people have arrived to see these fantastic celebrations. So who are you looking forward to seeing? Jim you playing not only Scrooge, but also his three ghostly guides. Woo! Hello! I play Ebenezer Scrooge at five different ages, from about seven to 65, 70. And I play the three spirits. Uh, you, the spirit, whose coming was foretold to me? The ghost of Christmas past is a flame. It enjoys illuminating your past and flies through space at a million miles an hour. So I'm standing there going, mm -hmm. <sighs> really looks cool. I am the ghost of Christmas present. Christmas present is in the moment. He's kind of like Santa Claus. Peace on Earth. Goodwill toward men. And I had a lot of fun creating it. <laughs> oh, come down. Ghost of Christmas Future is really intense. It's not a happy occurrence when he comes around. He's going to show Scrooge the possibilities if he doesn't change his ways. Right, it's time to go backstage to meet the stars. Let's go and see who we can find. It's going to be amazing uh, to see the lights go on today, and especially because Jim Carrey's doing it, isn't he? I mean, it doesn't get bigger than that. Amazing. He does the funniest faces. <laughs> I love him. Ah! Um, bug. Right across London, the stars of the Christmas Carol are standing by to light up the skies. Five, four, three, two, one. We have to beat 7,500. Londoners have been out in the thousands, and yes, it's a new Guinness World Record, 14,100. That was amazing. We've carolled our way into the record books. We've got the Christmas lights switched on, and now all that remains is for us to head over to the red carpet and catch up with the stars. It's nice to be at the party. If you're not in the Christmas spirit, by now you you will be after sort of this evening I think so it's uh, yeah I'm, I'm loving it I'm gonna have to go and buy a Christmas tree now I think. Peter Andre, fabulous to see you here at the you world too. premiere of This is a Christmas Carol, it's amazing. If you don't get the Christmas spirit through this you will never get the Christmas spirit. Well it's a wonderful ride you know we were able to actually express the things that Dickens wrote about in, in a way that's never been seen before. 
I'm the great, great, great granddaughter of Charles Dickens. That is absolutely amazing. <laughs> and how do you feel to be the world premiere of Disney's A Christmas Carol? It's so exciting and I'm so thrilled that the world premiere is here in London. It's absolutely fantastic, actually. A Christmas Carol is haunting cinemas across the UK everywhere now. Plus, in the coming weeks, we'll be taking a closer look at the fairy tale comedy The Princess and the Frog. I suppose you want to kiss. Kissing would be nice, yes? <laughs> and bringing you some early news on The Prince of Persia.